Hey, howdy, and a big welcome back to Clem Hawks, folks. I'm Yak, ready to take you through another Minnesota Twins recap, discussion, whatever you want to call these dang things that we're doing in place of Clem this week. Uh, my friends, it's a 1-0 victory for the Twins today. They take home a combined shutout after what we've seen between these two teams, the Guardians and the Twins, over the past two games. All of a sudden, there's one run scored in nine innings, and the Twins able to come away with a big time, shut it down, grind it out, win it victory uh, at the hands of the pitching, right? Obviously, the offense didn't contribute too much, but it was Nick Gordon with the big time home run, the only run of the ball game, and that was coming in the third inning off of Zach Plezak, and that was a huge get for the Twins, who have Devin Smeltzer pitch his fourth win of the season, six innings clean, ERA's down to 3.05, three strikeouts. He just doesn't strike anyone out. That's just the way it is. Uh, Smith gets another hold, his 14th of the season. His ERA down to 278 after a clean inning. Duran down to his ninth hold of the season, 225 ERA on the year in an inning and, two, or inning and a, a third, and then two thirds of an inning. Fieldbar out there with the save, his first of the season, and a 6.04 ERA. And that's the problem with Pagan pitching the way he has been the past couple games, and of course pitching the last two games and struggling. He's not the guy to come out and get the save this game. And Fieldbar, a guy who's not had a great go of it this season, the guy who somehow gets his card picked out of the deck to do the job in two-thirds of an inning, and he gets it done. Yes, he gives up a hit, he gets a strikeout. The Twins have seven strikeouts in nine innings. And, uh, well, you know what? He, he lowers his ERA down to that 6.04 mark, where next outing, if he can go clean for even two-thirds of an inning, he's going to be down below 6.0. And suddenly, the Twins are looking all right, figuring it out pitching-wise. Despite two or three guys in the pen not figuring it out, now you got the regulars in the pen are starting to contribute consistency, right? That's what we're asking here out of the bullpen, and that's what we're starting to get, right? Fieldbar's been solid the last couple loadings. Smith's been solid all year. Duran's been solid all year. And now you just got Pagan, who kind of messed it up last night and the night before. So you, you got it going for these guys. They're coming together and starting to figure it out down there. And obviously the addition of a bigger arm would be a huge bit, bit and get for us. But um, hopefully right now just the guys that are here start contributing. The Twins snap a three-game losing streak. Of course, that was seven runs against Arizona, six runs against the Guardians, and then 11 runs against the Guardians last night and combined to shut out the Guardians today and win one nothing. They'll face the Rockies in the next game on Friday. So that's tomorrow. Yeah, my goodness, my days and my week are all messed up. The Rockies 30 and 40 on the year. Not much better than the Arizona Diamondbacks who, oh, they won against the Twins and then have gone on to lose three straight games. Yeah, but the big news here too is um, the division is once again tied in the AL Central. The Guardians obviously have the better winning percentage, but just based on wins and based on loss ratio, the Twins are tied with the Guardians atop the AL Central right now. And now it comes down to who kind of takes their next series seriously and then comes into the next five or so games against each other with that kind of attitude of that's the time to make separation. Obviously, a couple of weeks ago, I talked about the Twins coming, I think, into, yeah, it would have been last Tuesday, so now we're on Thursday, so about a week and a half ago, I talked about by this Monday that's just passed, the Twins should have had five games up on the Guardians had they done their job properly against Arizona. That was kind of the key, right? Go into Arizona, beat up on a lesser ball team, and come out against the Guardians and by Monday be standing tall. Well, unfortunately now by Thursday, so only three days later, you're standing in a dead even situation looking to try and do it all again here by probably Friday next week. So you're game planning about mm, eight days out for the Twins. If they can get there, it would be a pretty get. But for the rest of August now, the Twins find themselves in this, or August, June. Wow, okay. Don't know where that came from, but 
Um, they're in a situation where they just got to really decide what this month is going to be and it hasn't been a great month so maybe it's time to decide this is going to be an all right month and make something of it here in the last eight days of the month as right we've got the rockies 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 guardians 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 bang and oh just so as it happens thursday on the 30th of june the guardians and twins will play up here in canada on tv interesting however i will be at work i will be at work and the nice part is here right for the most part clem hawks channel here should have lots of coverage for you the uh, rockies 6 10 p.m mountain time so i'll be nice and home from work uh saturdays at 5 15 6 15 central start and then sundays at 12 10 and realistically you got two games during the week that are Noon starts in Cleveland, but that's fine and Andy will make it count and it'll work out for us, I'm sure. So for the Twins, that's where you sit. Bad series. Really bad series. But just as the Twins have all season long, they come in with that one effort that makes you go, but look at what this team's capable of. And that's exactly what the Twins did today. Folks, I'm Yak. This is Clem Hawks. Up on, out of here.